Hello friends, how are you all doing? I want to believe everyone is doing great. Today has been a rainy day in Dublin. I have something to show you. You know the other day, in my shopping video, I showed you how, food, how I source for African food and how I preserve foods as well. But today, I have okra and pepe. The other day I had okra as well. But I still have a little of that, so, and I have another one. I see all these things, they are not essential commodity because they are um, imported to this country, you know. So we don't have them all the time. So when we have it, we just grab it and do what we can do with it. Is either we prepare it at once or we just, you know, preserve it in whichever way we can do it. So today I want to show you how I preserve my okra let's go over and see what we have to do so guys yeah. see what i have here so the paper i bought that is almost finished so my friend brought this and we shared again this is the okra this one has been here now for the past how many days um i think three days <laughs> And I'm not in the mood of making okra. So in order to preserve it, I'll have to cut and I will show you how I actually do everything. So that in the next three, four months, I will still have okra. I'll keep some to, you know, film a recipe. Mm -hmm. I think this one will be okay. But I'm going to wash this one. I'm going to be showing you how I cut it. I'm not using anything to wash, just ordinary tepid water. Slightly uh, warm. I actually um, chop the okra with the food processor. It's very easy. Before this time, it used to be war in this house. If I want to make okra like this and I'll, you know, share it for the children to cut, you know, with their hands. So, but now, thank God for CC. I mean, she was the one that I saw doing this. And since then, I showed it to my friends as well. But I still cut some with my hands. It, it depends on the kind of okra that I want to make. Like the one I removed now. I'm going to show you how I prepare that one. Okay, see what I'm doing? I'm just removing the tail end of the okra. See how beautifully he chopped it. Just like you use your hand to cut the okra. Second batch. So these are zip lock bags in order to stop the okra from turning dark. This is what I do. Any day I choose to cook it, I'll just bring it out for it to defrost. Then I make my soup. So these are the two packs. They're done with the okra. I'm packing the pepper now. So you can see we have majorly two colors, I'll call it. So I'll, you know, pick them differently. So starting with the green. I almost still have some yellow. We have picked them differently as well. See? See the green. The red.
this is the yellow or in between the both colors <laughs> the green and the red these ones are preferably for soup especially these native soups that is it we've come to the end of this video if you watch up to this type thanks for watching but I do need you to subscribe to this channel so that I can bring you more videos and if today is your first time of coming across this channel God bless you thanks for watching please I do urge you to join this family make sure you share this video to your friends this can be helpful to us as women so that they will know how to preserve these things when they have them in book thanks for watching god bless you keep basking in the joy of the lord <laughs>